Start your examination by general survey, looking for the patient and surrounding. In the patient, look for the body build and uh, if there is a clue for the underlying cause, like lupus rash, rheumatoid hand, or other clues. In the surrounding, look if there is any um, sputum pot, inspected, uh, inhaler, nebulizer, oxygen cylinder. Uh, start your examination from the hand, looking for clubbing. Would you put your hand like this, please? Would you do like this, please? And crash. Fine tremors. Look for the presence of tar stain on the sides of the fingers and nails. Flapping tremors. And palmar erythema. Okay, thank you. Then check the pulse. Uh, you just check the pulse to divert the patient attention while you are going to count the respiratory rate in 15 seconds and multiply by four. Check for pallor. Look up, please. Look at my finger, please. Jaundice. Central cyanosis. And then check for the neck vein. Would you look for the other side, please? Finish your general examination by checking for lower limb edema. Check for lower limb edema by asking about pain and press over the shaft of uh, femur while looking to the patient's face. Any pain? No. Press while looking to the patient's face. Ask the patient to take a deep breath. Take a deep breath, please. Would you cough for me, please? <coughs> Continue your inspection by checking for the scar on the outer aspect of the chest. Raise your arm, please. Thank you. Start your local examination by uh, asking about pain and doing palpation of the chest. Any pain anywhere in your chest? I'm going to palpate your chest. Start by checking chest expansion. Nefas. At the nipple line, take a fold and check for inspection. Nefas came. Take a deep breath, please. Again, third level below the nipple line. Take a deep breath, please. Percussion of the chest. I'm going to tap over your chest. You will not feel any pain. Would you raise your arm, please? Perkla. Percussion of the axilla. Now, auscultation of the chest. Auscultation of the chest. Uh, start your auscultation by asking the patient to take a deep breath with, with each side of auscultation. Take a deep breath, please. Auscultation of the axilla. Uh, nine, nine, huh? Auscultation for vocal resonance. Uh, on each time you put your stethoscope, ask your patient to say nine, nine. 
My mind. 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 By this, you finish examination of the front of the chest. After this, ask the patient to sit and examine his neck. Examination of the neck. Check for the trachea, central or deviated, cricosterna notch distance, and tracheal tug. Take a deep breath, please, for me. First gamut. and a notch distance measured from the cricoid. This is the um, Adam's apple. You find the first ring below it and measure the distance between the cricoid cartridge and supra sternal notch. This is the crico sternal notch distance. In tracheal tag, you put your finger hanging between these two joints, sternoclavicular joint, and ask your patient to take a deep breath. Uh, now moving to the back examination. Start your examination by inspecting the back. Take a deep breath, please. Nefes gamut. Then palpate, put your hand over the scapula and ask your patient to take a deep breath. Take a fold below the scapula, Nafas. Percussion of the back. Start percussing the back from the supra scapular space. Auscultation. Auscultation of the back. Reach your back. Nafas. Take a deep breath, please. As the base of the lung oscillates all through the base. Now checking for vocal resonance. Nine nine, please. Nine nine. 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 After this, check for sacral edema. Ask your patient if he has any pain in his back and press while looking to his face. Any pain? Yoga. Check for lymph node examination. Now check for lymph node examination. Please tilt your head to my side. My uh, uh, Now you see the lymph Please put your hand like this. And lastly, check for palpable second heart sound. Take a deep breath and hold it, please. Thank you. Cover your patient and thank him. Thank you.